Both GIMP and Photoshop allow you to manipulate images. They're both very good products. They both take a little time to get used to. The thing is, however, GIMP is free and Photoshop is expensive. So if you're going to manipulate images for your own purposes, i.e. some of your photographs, maybe design logos for a website you're building, I would recommend that you start out using GIMP. And this short video is going to show you where you can locate the software and how you can download it. And once downloaded, then you simply run setup as you would do for any particular program you wish to install on your computer. To locate GIMP, go to Google and simply type into the box there, GIMP, and press search. And what you should see is this appearing here, where it says GIMP, and underneath, if I highlight it, it simply says www.gimp.org. Now that is the official site. So click onto that, it'll bring up the following page, and the thing to do now is simply to click on where it says download. This will appear, and I recommend you simply go to the Windows installer. Obviously, if you are using an Apple Mac, this will be slightly different. This is an installer, so it'll make your life easy. So simply click onto that, and it'll come here, and it'll show you installers for GIMP Windows. The one we're interested in is this link here. So click onto that where it says download. And what will happen, it'll show you here, that you have a download. Click onto that. It'll then take you to SourceForge. And in SourceForge, what you can see is the screen, and on my computer this pops up. I now simply click the Save File button. That will get saved in a folder of my choosing, and then you run the program from there. You run the setup program from the folder you stored this in. Now I'm not going to show you the actual installation, I'm just showing you how you locate it. Now of course, this is what all the screenshots look like on the 30th of March 2013. But essentially what I'm recommending you do here is go through the official GIMP website, and if it takes you to SourceForge, don't panic, it's a reliable downloading site. In other words, don't go to any dodgy sites, follow this particular approach here.